Hi, I'm Jill Jorson. And I'm Tom Thompson. And today we welcome some, some animals from the Polar Ice Cats. Please welcome Shadow the Seal, Pippi the Polar Bear, and Penny the Penguin. Why am I here again? We're getting interviewed about global warming. What's up, peeps? So, you have any fish to eat? I traveled all across the world for this. I got some fish. Want some? Great. I Thanks. always have some with me. Okay, okay, let's get to the point. How do you feel about global warming? Terrible. It's red. It stinks. How is it affecting your habitat? It's melting our beloved Antarctica. My friend's cub died yesterday. He drowned. We're in a lot of danger. It's not fun having to worry about our young all the time. That's so sad. Poor cub. How much food do you have? Are you kidding me? I can hardly find food. Yeah, it's really hard to find food. So hard. Just to get that across. It's hard. Penny, how are your young? It is getting hotter. It is not good for them, and they are getting stinky. This is how you can stop these terrible things from happening. You can carpool, bike, walk, scooter, or, to, and, or scooter to school, and much more. Check out our Global Warming website to find out find more of these ideas. Global Warming is where smoke from cars, power plants, and much more makes smoke, which traps in the sun's rays of heat which makes the earth hotter which is melting the polar ice caps which also makes the seals swim off to cooler areas and gives polar bears less food also because the ice caps are melting that makes the sea level go up which is if global warming completely melts the ice caps polar bears would be extinct and the sea level would go up to 30 to 40 feet which means less land for animals Thank you for watching and goodbye. Goodbye.